Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get right into Wisdom Wednesday. Okay, so oftentimes we see other people's lives, how they're living their lives, how things are going, and it seems really really awesome they've got everything all together everything's all laid out whatever plan it is that they've made out for themselves it seems to be executed flawlessly um, and despite whatever kind of little bumps and bruises here that they may have either way they're still living their life how they've planned it out and oftentimes when we're on the other side of things and we're just on the outside looking in it just seems like they've got it all together and maybe we don't and I know for myself I've had issues with that of not having my life go the way that I had envisioned it, um, the way that I dreamed for it to go. And so the topic we're going to talk about this week is being okay with your life's journey. I think it's really important to remember that not everyone's life, it doesn't look the same. It's okay that your life does not look like someone else's. And it's really, um, it's a really tough lesson to kind of learn. It's something that's, I think it's a process in trying to understand how that works, to um, understand that that's just how life goes. And so I think it's important to remember that although your life may not be going the way you may want it to go, it's okay. You just have to be okay with how your life is unfolding and to really go with the flow of how things are going and to just trust that whatever it is that you're going after, it's going to, you're, you're going to obtain it. It just, it may take a little bit longer for you to get there than it would someone else that you might be looking at. So the first verse that we're going to look at for this week is 1 Corinthians 9.24. Okay, so the verse says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. So the first point that I would want to make for, with you guys is, do you know what your end goal is? What is your prize? So sure, we have those moments where we're looking at other people's lives and they're living, things, living their life out, um, it seems like, seamlessly. And it's not to say that you're not trying to go after what it is that you're trying to go after. It's not that you're trying to live your, that you're not trying to live your life the way that you want to. But maybe it's the time to maybe take a step back and look at, okay, well, what is my end goal? What do I want my life to look like? What do I want my life to be like? Um, if there's something that you're going after specifically, whether it's in your business or um, in your walk with God, it could be what you're trying to do um, at work or with school. What's the end goal? Figure out what that is and then figure out the next step it takes to get there. So the next verse we're going to look at is Hebrews 12 verses 1 and 2. And so it says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of God. So with this particular verse, I kind of want you guys to think about assessing who is around you. The first verse is really talking about um, throwing off the things that hinders us and throwing off that sin. So let's think of it in terms of not that we don't need to do that because we do in our walk with God, but even in thinking of the people that are around you, who is around you that hinders you? What's a distraction that's around you that hinders you, that's preventing you from living your life the way that you want to live it? Whatever it is that that, that prize is, that end goal um, that you're trying to achieve or how you want to live your life, what is in your life right now that's hindering you, that's keeping you back, that's distracting you from what it is that you are wanting out of your life? So maybe it's time to take a step back, assess what's going on in your life, and get rid of the things that you don't need in your life. All right, last verse, and this is more so of an encouragement if anything else. It's Matthew 19, verse 26. Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are impossible. So just to remind yourself that no matter what it is that you're trying to do, how you're trying to live your life, um, whatever your end goal is, whatever it is that you're trying to do, that you can't do this by yourself. You need someone in your life. In this instance, because we're going to the Word, we need God. We need God on our side. We need God with us, and we need to um, 
always go to him with whatever it is that we're going through, whatever we're struggling with, and realize that in order for us to get what we're, where we're wanting to go, that it's only going to be possible as long as we include him in our lives. All right, guys, so just to recap, so basically the three points today is to know what your end goal is, figure out what it is that you're wanting, no matter what aspect of your life you're trying to focus on. And then secondly, assess who's around you or what's around you that would be holding you back, hindering you, and distracting you from what it is that you're trying to do, what it is you're trying to achieve. And then, of course, to remember that with God, all things are possible. So I switched things up a little bit. I just tried to give more so of points, um, almost kind of like in lecture form. So let me know if this is something that you enjoy. If you like this particular style of just kind of giving some points to take away. Um, that way you kind of have some notes that you can take um, while you're watching Wisdom Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that in some way you are blessed by this and that you are able to take away just a little piece of wisdom that maybe you had not picked up before. Please share this video um, if you feel like it can bless someone else. Of course, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I can't wait for you guys to see the next video. I am excited to share with you what's coming up next week. All right, until then, bye.